Persistent heat, that's not stopping workers from getting their jobs done, but with some extra safety precautions, Fox 43 reporter Gabriel Johnson shows us how workers are staying cool. Heat in Kansas has been a struggle. Many are working long hours in the sun. Yeah. Intense labor with extreme heat can lead to heat exhaustion, so it's important to be aware of yourself and others around you. On really hot days like today, we'll put a buddy system in place, make sure everybody's looking after each other, you know, and we tell them, you know, they know their body best, so if something's feeling off, let us know before uh, things get different. We can get them in some AC um, and kind of combat the heat that way. Rising temperatures force workers to take frequent hydration breaks. Knowing your body and limits is crucial if you're out in the heat, and even more so if you work long hours in the sun. It starts before you come into work, obviously. Um, you can't think that you're going to be able to hydrate yourself um, from the time you get into work till the end of the day because you're already going to be behind the eight ball. More precautions are taken by companies to ensure the safety of their workers. Avoiding midday temperatures allows for the safest, most efficient work. When it's this hot to work in the morning, water in the morning, or water in not midday. If you plan on spending significant time outside, it's important to listen to your body. If you begin feeling lightheaded, short of breath, or have an increased pulse, you may be suffering from a heat stroke. Has metal engineering foreman advises that workers drink plenty of water, take breaks, find shade, get in a cool area, anything like that. In North Topeka, Gabriel Johnson, Fox 43 News.